Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Lori Lucas Howe. I traveled in CASB 1992, and uh, I am now the Professional Development Chair with the Up With People International Alumni Association. Greetings from the lands of the beautiful Comox First Nation on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. We are pleased to announce the launch of our second annual mentoring program designed to leverage the skills and talents of our global alumni. Whether you are a master in your chosen career who has experience to share with someone starting in your field, or you're looking to improve your skills and behaviors on how to be more inclusive and become more influential on social media, this program is for you. It's a six-month program during which time we will match mentors and protégés based on skills offered and skills sought. Partners will meet virtually once per month. So please watch the intro video following this message to learn more about how you can participate as a mentor or a protégé in this program and hope to see your application by September 29th. We're going to talk about a few things. One is uh, just a summary, quick summary, high level about the program. Then we'll go into uh, the program purpose and a little bit more detail around what the timelines look like, expectations if you're interested in participating, what the next steps are, and then an opportunity to answer any of your questions uh, as well. But wanted to give you a quick high level summary here. So we launched this program back in 2023. And um, we did have a number of participants last year, uh, all Up With People alumni, uh, who worked together to, uh, for on one side, those that were learning and the other side, those that were guiding the process. So given the feedback that we received from our participants last year, we are launching the second annual mentoring program. This is a six month program. So it will start in October of this year and it'll run through to April of and uh, the feedback from our participants was that it was exactly the right length of time in terms of the program. So uh, hopefully you'll find the same as well. What are we ask you to commit a minimum of one hour per month to either learn from as a protege in the program or uh, to help develop another alumni uh, across the world? So we are looking for both mentors and protégés, and the applications are now open on the Up With People website until the 29th of September. So lots more details can be found on the website. With that, I also have uh, a little piece to share here in terms of experience that one of our mentors had last year. So David Burton from Australia, uh, he was on staff between 94 and 2000. Uh, some of you may know of, uh, of Dave traveled with him at some point, but he's just shared a few tips and highlights in terms of his experience as a mentor in the program last year to read through those. All right, moving on to the program purpose. So really what this is all about is to help connect alumni around the world. We wanna be able to extend the knowledge we have. So many alumni have such amazing and interesting interesting careers that have delved into following their time traveling with Up With People. And we want to be able to share some of that expertise and help to develop um, others who are looking for skills in those particular areas. And as you see on here, it's it's meant to des design to further participant career growth in their chosen, chosen field. But we've also set this up in such a way that it could be a reverse mentorship relationship as well. So for example, maybe you are really advanced in your career, you've done a lot of things, but now what's happening in the workplaces is the importance of diversity and inclusion. And maybe you're not quite sure how to go about doing that. And you're actually going to be looking for um, a mentor who either is diverse or has an expertise in uh, diversity and inclusion, um, who can help you to um, show up in such a way in your workplace that you are demonstrating that you are clearly working on those particular areas of skill development. So it's set up really in such a way that anyone can be a mentor and anyone can be a protege in this program because we all have things to learn from one another. So just a quick um, look at what the program timeline looks like. So the applications opened in August when we were at uh, Annual Alumni Week in Limerick this year. Did some 
there. And uh, as you see, the applications are open until the 29th of September. And we will then, once those applications all come in, we will start to work on a matching process. And so we look to try and create the best match possible based on the skills of the folks that are applying and those that are the skills that they're interested in learning. Um, and then we will let you know in mid-October what that looks like. Following that matching assignment, we are going to do on October the 19th, we will do an orientation session for all participants in the program and walk you through exactly what the tools are that we have available for you, what the um, support is that you will receive throughout that six month process. And from there, you kick it off, get the first meeting scheduled, there'll be development plans for the protégés to be completing with help from their mentors, get those finalized, you have your regular meetings throughout. And then towards the end, we want to, we remind you again to just look back at what was set out in the development uh, development plans to ensure that uh, you've achieved what it was that you were seeking to achieve during that six month process. And then the process formally ends um, towards the end of April. And we do share as well um, an evaluation for the program because what we want to do is learn from those of you who are to participate in the program to continue to improve that program year after year for our other alumni. So just a few highlights here in terms of the expectations piece. So what we have here is it, it, the expectation is that you commit for the period of um, which is that six month period. The second is that you set aside time to connect with your pair. So, you know, we, we recommend a minimum of one hour per month. And that's just to ensure that you're continuing to keep that connection going. So ensure that you set aside that time. And that time, of course, can be flexible, um, but it's it, whatever it is that works for that pairing. Uh, we want you to track your interaction during the program. So take notes um, for the protege that's working towards your goals. Make sure that you are capturing um, some of the advice that you're being given by your mentor as well. And for mentors, we ask that you keep track of what's the progress look like and what suggestions were made so that you can do follow up with them during that as well. From there, we ask that you keep your commitments to one another. If you set a time that you um, maintain that time, um, as I said earlier, there could be some flexibility. Life happens, and so they, it may need to be rescheduled. But rather than canceling, make sure you reach out in advance to reschedule that meeting. Sixth is to openly discuss if there's any barriers to a successful partnership. Is there anything not working for one or the other? It's really important for you to talk about that and um, have that confidence and that curiosity to have that conversation. Seventh is to prepare for each meeting in advance. So we really want to maximize that one hour that you're spending together every month. So you read through and see where things are at. Um, Proteges, if there were actions that you were meant to be taking prior to that next meeting, ensure that you've taken those actions so that you can report back to your mentor on the progress that you've made during that period of time. And last but not least, we ask that you all participate in providing feedback at the completion of the program so that we can, as I mentioned earlier, can uh, continue to improve it for our future participants. A little bit more detail here, just in terms of mentors, what the expectation is for you. So I'm going to give you a second to read through uh, the particular pieces here, but really highlight a few of them in here. So is to help to develop an appropriate learning plan. We can't put a learning plan in place that's going to take six years to achieve because we only have six months in order to uh, work through this, uh, but something that it can break it down into some smaller pieces to see progress and allow them to continue to make progress following the mentoring program. There is also an opportunity, if agreed by both the mentor and the protege, to carry on that connection uh, beyond the six month period. And in fact, we do have a couple of our pairings from the first round that have made a commitment to one another to continue those conversations on a regular basis going forward. Really, you need to be actively listening, listen to what they're saying, um, be able to provide guidance to them. But it's asking the questions to help lead them there and guide them there. So be curious, open minded, ask lots of questions of them to help them find where it is that they're going. And again, uh, set aside that minimum of one hour. Um, you know, be, be uh, accessible, be responsive to them. And 
the other big piece is be open to learning from your protege. I think we all have something to learn from one another. Absolutely. Whether you're from uh, a different country or a different uh, profession or uh, some of the, the participants that we had last year really were looking to make career changes and they were looking for guidance in a new career would have already had a career in a particular area that there may be something that's an opportunity for the mentors to learn from as well. On to the protégés in terms of the expectations. So the protégé really takes the lead in this relationship. They are the ones that want to learn from somebody who's willing to share their skills. So it's up to the protégé to set up the initial meeting, to do the introductions, to set up the regular meetings that are happening after the fact, to draft their development plans so that um, they're demonstrating that active learning that they're doing. So the protege really is the one who takes the lead in this, um, may have to commit a little bit more time, more than that one hour per month, um, because it's really about an investment in yourself and having the opportunity to leverage the learnings and the skills from a mentor that'll help guide you on the way. Uh, respect confidentiality. I'm going to mention that one piece as well, because there may be things that you learn from your mentor. Uh, maybe it's experiences from their uh, the, their careers. Maybe it's something to do with their current employer or a previous employer. And it's really important that information is kept uh, confidential, that that's not shared outside of that relationship. So next steps from here, um, absolutely invite you to please go online, take a look at the IAA website. There is loads of information in there under the mentoring program. We'll give you all of these details and more. And then please complete your applications prior to September 29th so that we can have uh, the best opportunity to create the best matches possible for those that are interested in participating. And then from there, look forward to meeting your mentoring match. After that, questions that you may have, you can send them to the professional development at IAA.org mailbox. Address is here on the screen. And I look forward to hearing from you all and hope to see many of you at the orientation on October the 19th. Take care. Bye-bye.